Hello and welcome back to Flight Simulator 2020. Right, so you join me at Luxembourg Airport, which is where we're going to be taking off from. It's early morning and we've got a pretty straightforward flight, but it's a little bit longer than I've normally done before. So because of that, I've come with a different aircraft. So we're sitting in the Cessna Caravan, well it's called the Grand Caravan, but it's, it's technically just a more powerful, bigger version um, of a, an original Cessna. So the Skyhawk that I'm used to, I've been starting to fly with it. I'm still going to fly that a lot because that's the one I want to learn. But I thought I'd try a turbo propeller engine just for the extra speed because we're going to be going a little bit further than what I have done before. So, that being said, where are we going to go? Right, so I'll just bring the maps in and I'll show you. So currently, we're sitting right in the middle of Luxembourg, in the, in the centre, so it's Luxembourg, in Luxembourg. Tiny little country that borders between France, Germany and Belgium. Um, and the flight we're going to take today is, I thought it would be nice if we went to Brussels. So we're going to fly straight over Brussels, so the capital of Belgium is a, a nice little landmark that they've put in the game. I think it's called the Atominum or something like that. So it's basically just some kind of monument looks like um, an atom basically so it's obviously got some kind of scientific value I think it's on a museum as well so around the centre of Brussels so that should be nice to look at um, and it's obviously been put into the game so we're going to be heading straight to Brussels and then from there we're going to be heading north and we're going to be going to Amsterdam have a look at Amsterdam while we're there and then Shipnell Airport it's pretty much just you can't miss it actually it's massive it's just there we're going to be going up to central Amsterdam which is there we're going to take a big turn come southbound and we're going to hopefully land on probably I'm thinking about runway I think it's 20 24 let me just have a look runway 18 sorry so runway 18 we'll try and land on that so that's the plan anyway it should be a good flight so we're going to be going from Luxembourg to Belgium and Brussels and then straight up through the Netherlands to Amsterdam so the plane's all set up, quickly just have a look outside so you can have a look at the difference in the size. So as you can see it is actually bigger than what I originally go with in the Skyhawk. I did forget to put Scraft on the side of the plane today, I forgot all about that, so I'm going to be as ASXGS, so it'll be alright. I'm going to just say the GS is backwards for Scraft Gaming, let's just say that. Right, so we may as well get on ATC and start this flight off. So we'll tune into ground. Um, we're going to be direct. Probably want to depart to the west. Actually, yeah, the west. I'd say the west. Let's let's go for the west. Luxembourg ground, Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra with Quebec request taxi for takeoff west departure. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra taxi to and hold short of runway 24 via taxiway Alpha. So quickly I'll just point out the autopilot in here, it's just a little bit different than what I'm used to in the other one. Still straightforward enough to use, um, but I had to change the heading in here from GPS. So you've got the CDI button here, if you click between them, you'll go on to GPS, which is what we want enabled. Now I have noticed that even though I set the flight plan up to go over Brussels, which is probably in this direction here, uh, and then obviously head up north to Holland. It's actually done a direct line. Now I know from trialing that when I set it to follow satellite navigation, so the, uh, the nav, it won't actually follow this white line, which is, I think it's just a little bug within the game that hopefully will get fixed. So it will actually head in this direction, so we, we need to pretty much ignore the white line on this flight. Um, it will definitely get us there. Right, so we're ready to taxi them. Um, we probably don't need a little man with his um, pushback gear. So we'll just follow the taxi. Shouldn't take too long. I mean, it is one nautical mile. Runway is directly going from east to west, just across this way like that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll taxi on out cut to when I'm just sitting on the edge, edge of the runway waiting for clearance for takeoff. Luxembourg Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra ready for departure. 
departure to the west at runway 24. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra cleared for takeoff runway 24 departure to the west approved. Right, so there we go. We've been cleared for takeoff. So let's take the parking brake off. I haven't set the flaps. Don't think I need them. The runway is quite long for this size of the aircraft, so we're just going to go with it as it is. Uh, we'll probably need the flaps for landing. Yeah, so we'll probably just need um, the flaps when we're landing. Um, I think it's going to be a bit more difficult for me to land this plane from what I'm used to. Um, the last landing I did was pretty good actually, I was happy with it. The first one wasn't horrendous or anything, but the, th the second one was a lot better, so not bad at all. Right, so we're going to rotate. So everything's looking good so far. So we're probably going to fly the runway heading just till we clear the airport a little bit more. Just acknowledge that. So I've set the game for 7 a.m. in the morning. Um, so, and I've put clear skies so we can get some nice views again. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn to the right a bit. I'm going to try and get on our heading for the GPS. And then what we'll do is we'll bank slowly back. So we just sit quite nicely there. We'll probably trim it out a little bit. And then we'll set the autopilot up to do the cruise for us. So as you can see the GPS is actually sending me in a different direction to what the wide navigation line is. Now hopefully they'll fix that. There is a patch coming out soon um, for this game so hopefully that will be one of the things it fixes. I know there's a few bugs. I think when the game pauses as well on autopilot as well, that's a, that's kind of a bug that I've actually seen a few other people have, so I'm glad it's not just me. I think for this cruise we're probably going to sit around 5,000 feet. I think that might be a good good one to start off with. So let's just try and trim this out a little bit more. Try and bring the nose up. We don't want to be too much. And that's fine. So. If we set the altitude now to 5,000, so we're climbing quite fast anyway, we'll turn the autopilot on, turn the bank on, we're going to be turning versus, and we want to make sure we lift it up, well, oh, wrong way, probably 700, and then we'll make sure that we switch nav on, and that'll get us back on course. So the plane will now handle itself, it'll climb at 700 feet per minute and when it gets to 5,000 you'll see it'll start banking down, it'll automatically switch from versus to alt altitude hold uh, just to sit us at 7,000. I don't know why the plane went right then to then come back left to the actual nav line. Maybe it's something to do with the bug that I'm experiencing, uh, but it did go way past it. It is actually sitting back on it now, close enough. I think if we open the VFR map, you'll notice that it's probably heading in the right direction. I think this here is about Brussels, so... Looks good so far. So, when we get up to 5,000 feet, I'll start pulling back on the throttle. We're quite close to it. Looks like we've got the sun on the east of us. The early morning sunrise to the east. The 
so it's coming down a bit now so what we'll do is because of the torques torque of the engines in red fine with this plane you want to try and hit about 70 percent or 72 is actually a really good sweet spot while you're still in the green there we go so if we sit there now torque will just be on the edge of the green in the red really that's good enough for us and we should hit about 160 knots so it's still a lot faster than what the Skyhawk would do that hit about 120 on its cruise so not bad at all right so let's just remove the yokes so we get a better visibility so now that we're on the cruise we can take the cabin light off seat belt take off if anyone's in the back um, landing lights don't need them on, don't need taxi lights on, we'll leave the strobe now with the beacon. I think we're all set now. So, 93.2 nautical miles, 66 minutes of flying, in total that is until we get to Amsterdam. So you can see how quick this plane goes compared to the Skyhawk. The, the extra 40 knots, well 43 at the moment, is quite a big difference and obviously we can pretty much just go over 170 but we want to leave our um, throttle just as it is. Fuel wise, I went from 50%. I think that should be enough for this this flight. I didn't do it go anymore. I kind of just left it as it was. So yeah, it looks like we're set. Right. So what I'll do is I'll get some nice scenic shots on the cruise to Brussels. And then when I get close to Brussels, I'll uh, cut back in and have a look at the scenery. See you in a sec. Right, so welcome back and welcome to Brussels. I did get some nice um, aerial shots as I was going over the city and I am actually really impressed with it. I like the layout of, of all the buildings and the roads, it's, um, it is actually really impressive. So the plane was just about to bank right, heading directly over to Amsterdam, so I thought I'd pause, um, put it on, taking it off the autopilot first and I've paused. So this is the building that we've come to look at. So as you can tell, it's like in a, some kind of complex in Brussels itself. Um, it looks like, from what I've read, it is a museum. Um, 
time. So let's go down and actually have a look. Right, so this is the Atominum. As you can tell, it's obviously shaped pretty much like the Atom. And it is actually really impressive. They put this in the game and it looks pretty cool. It'd be something interesting to go to. So it looks like it's got stairs and then each one of these kind of spheres, there must be something inside that you can look at. It's quite impressive actually. It looks like there's a Belgian flag on the top of it. As you can see, no wind. And yeah, there's the Belgian flag. And the actual complex itself isn't too bad with it all being satellite imagery. Some kind of little park area, I don't know what that is. Some weird buildings. And then obviously you've got a football pitch, because you've got to have a football pitch right next to that. A bit like the Eiffel Tower, had a football pitch right next to it. But the building's looking over. I mean, it's, look at the detail. Look at the detail of uh, Brussels. It's actually a really impressive, quite green city. A lot of cities you don't see much trees in, whereas there's a lot. The buildings as well, like everything zigzagged, all the streets, there's like a lot of X's. Yeah, it looks good, especially from the distance. I don't know what that is, that's some kind of, looks like a stadium. Yeah, that's pretty impressive actually. Very impressive Brussels. Probably somewhere really interesting to actually go and visit. Right, so let's see the condition of the plane. Hopefully, we haven't had any problems. Um, speed's fine. I tried to climb down to 1500, I was still on the descent, so as you can tell, it's like descending and turning at the same time. So if we just pause break and then try and just level her off, bring her on a better head. And what we want to do is we want to quickly try and change the altitude, probably back to around, we'll go a little bit lower, about 4,000, um, and we want to turn straight and up, I don't know how far I'm off the head, I think that should be about right, we'll put the power back up, so we're going to be climbing, and then let's turn the autopilot on, bank's still on, we want to go versus. I want to go to around about maybe 800 actually. Don't want to kill too much speed. And we'll switch back to navigation. So as you can see, we're probably just exiting the outskirts of Brussels. And you can see more fields and maybe farmlands that are coming up. Also, what you'll notice as well when we get to the Netherlands is. It's got so many canals, and a lot of the field shapes are quite rectangular with like canals going through them. It's um, something totally different to what you see in the UK, but it is impressive. Right, so what I'll do is, as I climb again, and I'll get back to my cruising altitude of 4,000 feet. I'll uh, take some nice scenic shots again along the way, and then I'll cut back in just before we approach Amsterdam city centre. See you in a minute.
right, so we're right over Amsterdam Central. So the plane should just be probably turning yet yeah, right about now. So what we want to do is we want to turn the autopilot off and want to quickly pause the game. Make sure this doesn't do too much before we uh, obviously get out of the cockpit. I mean, it's, it's climbing anyway, slowly, so that's not a problem. Right, so let's have a quick look at Amsterdam. Right, so is it underwater? Well, that's Central Station, so that's the train station in Amsterdam. Probably not the best we've seen so far. I think the train track itself is missing. Uh, you can see where it's rendered it in from satellite. But yeah, it's definitely missing bits. It must be difficult for it to render it with all the water. So you can see probably roads that have got a bit of water on when they shouldn't. And so on. I think that's Dam Square. But that's obviously spawned in from satellites so it's not an actual building to put in that over there looks like something though a like cathedral or something so yeah it's um it's not the best city we've been to so far but i guess it's uh difficult for it to obviously render it properly with the amount of water that's pretty much right by the roads uh, you can see little areas that are submerged and stuff. But it's exact. It looks pretty much spot on for where everything actually is. So yeah. So we've flown so far from obviously Luxembourg, tiny little country. We've gone to Brussels, which was really nice in fact. And now we've ended up in the Netherlands at their capital of Amsterdam. So not too bad at all. Right, so what we need to do now is we need to prepare for landing. So I guess um, we need to speak to Shipnell. So I've requested a full stop landing. So what we want to do is see what uh, runway they give us. So they give us 18C. Select the runway though. So let's just quickly open up the map because I think 18C is actually. Where are you? There we are. I think 18C is. It's not that one. Is it the one we asked for? It is the one we asked for, so that's good. So what we'll do is we'll go a little bit more, we'll carry on in this direction and then we'll turn and then we'll come back on a heading of 18 and that should line us up pretty nice for the runway. It's a map of that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to obviously unpause the game and we're going to level it out, which is where we want to be. We want to try and keep this altitude and this speed. So we need to probably manually trim this back down again. That should be fine there. So we'll bring the throttle back a little bit because we are going to be trying to bring the flaps down at some point. So the nose is going to naturally want to drop now. So if we just keep adjusting the trim, hoping that we get it again to catch. A little bit too much. The speed is dropping. There'll become a point where we can enable flaps. If you see this little white line in your speed, that basically indicates that you can start using your flaps. Technically, if you use them in this, it's too much, it'll be too much force against the flaps itself. Um, so you want to be aware of that. And it's something I've only pretty much learned recently. As I say, I am learning as I go. Let's try and bring that nose back up a little bit more. Not too much that our speed drops and we can start climbing. It's quite hard to find that sweet spot without uh, having a proper like toggle thing. 
so far that's pretty good that isn't it? so I think what we'll do now is we'll make our turn making sure we keep the nose up because we are quite low 1500 bring the throttle back a little bit more So we are getting a bit low now. Speed's alright though, we just want to make sure we start descending now. A little bit more. Got no packing lights yet. But we are level onto the runway, we're in a good heading. Just want to try and keep this steady and have a nice descent. So I'm going to bring the throttle back a bit more and I'm going to bring the flaps up. The plane's trying to get a bit more lift because uh, obviously increase the flaps a bit more but it will start dropping the speed down we just want to make sure that we don't drop it too much because we're descending quite nicely at the moment so because if we go below 50 we'll stall right, we've got a nice big runway as well so we shouldn't have to worry too much right so i'm going to pull the throttle back quite a bit now Raise the nose, try and kill a bit of speed. Not too much though. See if we can land this bang on. From the green point, really. We go. Not bad at all, Matt, with that. Came down at right, good speed. And uh, we're pretty much in the middle, so I'm happy with that. It's been a good flight. We've seen uh, Brussels, we've obviously seen Luxembourg, a little bit of it. We've also seen the Netherlands. What's this guy doing? So I don't know what this guy's doing. But we're off the runway, so let's tune into ground. Let's taxi to parking. Skip hall ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra request taxi to parking. So we can turn the landing lights off now. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf. Turn the taxi Sierra lights taxi on. We'll keep the strobe on. I think it is. Um, that should be fine. Taxiing to General Aviation parking using taxiway golf. Put the flaps back. Put the trim to neutral. Right, so 
Why is it telling me to talk to you? Let's have a look outside. Ah, so we've got the taxi line now. I'm gonna have to go around these. There's three of these vehicles here. Is this not for planes or is this just like a big road? Personally, I think it's. I think they shouldn't be there. But we'll keep a distance. So we're coming up to a runway. Well, I've not been told to hold. It doesn't look like anyone's landing. So we'll just go across it. But overall, that was a good flight. I mean, I think Brussels was impressive. The scenery was impressive. I also enjoyed the fields as I was flying over uh, the Netherlands. But I think the best flight for me so far has been over there. Just flying over the channel. Seeing the contrast between the UK and then obviously France. Uh, but they've all been good. I've done three now. Three proper flights and some videos. And each one has had its own little thing to look at. And I've seen... Well, we've seen Belgium. We've seen the Netherlands, France, England. And also Luxembourg. So we'll keep travelling through the countries. Um, maybe go to Germany next. Speaking as it's the next... The next one that borders. Kind of went a little bit too far on that one there. This plane's a lot bigger than the Skyhawk. When's he going to put him down? There we go. Right, so we'll put the parking brake on. There we go. Right, so what we need to do is we need to turn off the taxi light. We need to turn off the strobe light now. We can turn off the light, these lights. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Like I said, it's a, a new plane. I just want to make sure I've turned everything off properly before I start messing about with the um, engine. But I think we can pretty much just pull back on the mixture. maybe the RPM as well. And there we go. And last but not least, turn off the avionics. Right, there we go. Flight completed. So in total, it took an hour and 28 minutes of flying time. Um, pretty good flight, like I said. Saw some nice things along, along the way. And we also flew technically in three different countries. So enjoyed it so i'm gonna leave the video there thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up i appreciate that every time and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this one on flight simulator see ya